Yeah, I think the big thing about my decision to go to Sunrise was kind of the relationships I had there. Just because I know, like, you've seen Bel Air, it's not that much to see. But probably the biggest thing was just like the faith aspect, because Sunrise Christian Academy. So it's just a big Christian school, and everyone has their best interest for you. What's up, y'all? I'm Grady Dick from Wichita, and I'm here to make a statement. I'm here to put Wichita on the map. exactly what I'm saying. It's just basketball and that's pretty much it here. You gotta have the Crocs. It's a necessity. When you're done playing, been hooping all day, feet are sore, nice little squishy. Then you put them in sport mode. A sport mode? Yeah. Put them in sport mode, they won't fall off. Adidas is last. How? You don't see anything about Adidas. Adidas got Adidas not good sportswear, that's it. No, Grady, you sound retarded. Don't ever tell them about it. But Adidas is definitely last. How? It's definitely not last. How many people are at USA? Nike and Under Armour. How is it? There was like probably two people from Adidas. I'd rather play Adidas on the ground. Yeah, me too. No, you get it. Better better up, bro. Better. Well, I'm not lying, I'm just saying. Adidas is not better than Armour. Great, don't lie on camera, bro. I'm not lying. For real. Everybody hates me. You eat peaches yet? No, I'm gonna eat a peach this year, though. That's what I thought. I'm gonna be eating peaches. I'm gonna be in Atlanta getting real peaches. <laughs> No, I meant the food. I meant the food. I meant the food, bro, because it's a, it's a, it's a peach steak. It's the peach steak. Oh my gosh. Really so immature. I'm going to film right now before practice. Probably watch film of, uh, yesterday's practice. And just see, it's all bad. It's pretty much all bad, but it helps. Like, you got to learn from what you did wrong. So you get it right next time. Just you're making a decision based on who is that, right? Like you're making a decision. Who is it? Like in a game, in a game, it's like, yeah, if it's if it's zero, you can maybe bluff and, and, and get back, knowing like if that's 22 in the corner or anybody that we're getting ready to play, like knowing scout report. If it's shooter, go. And then can you peel off and take KB? Okay, play. That, that, that possession will matter later in the game. That's a huge, that's a huge play for us. Just Make her scream my name, Grady-o. Hey, say my name. That's what she says. She called my name Gradio.
three, two, one, five. All right, defensively, in case of emergency, you got to switch. So is that three filming on says one, two, three, seven, yeah. four, five, six, yeah. 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 seven games in like twelve days. And then the next ball was gonna be in Orlando. Orlando. We better play a lot. I think we leave Thursday at like six in the morning. And then we'll probably shoot around that night. Okay. I'm a trainer. I've been training for the last four years. We work with a lot of top high school kids, college kids, and NBA guys. So Started working with Grady, I think, three years ago when he was 15. And uh, yeah, and, and been working with him ever since. And so far, we've seen a lot yep. of growth. Yep. And yep. I'm excited Good. to see where he's going to go seven. after his senior year. And what I'm really excited for it. this year go, go, is go. that his defense got so yep. much better by playing at Sunrise, how to then. guard, hey. uh, you know, top ring kids Let's every go, day. Finish. So his defense now got so much better. And I think that was one of his biggest areas that he was lacking at. I just feel like for him to be able to be in the system with Luke and all the coaches and all the guys for two years, and, and this is kind of like a college team. Pretty, like, I mean, they have so many college kids that, that's going to go play high level D1. So for him to be on this level playing every day, I think that's going to benefit him so much more than just only one year. So just pick and choose. All right, ready? Push, push, push. Yep. That's in there. Whoa, bro. We good? All right, thin row. Hey, stop, stop, stop. I need six makes. Six? Six makes, come on. Just let me get here first, come on. Ready, push, push. Yep. Nah, oh! Oh, what the? Hey, breathe. Yeah, I got you. Breathe. Push, push, hey. push, go. Yep. See, I gotta play with a smile. Punch it. Go. Punch oh. it, go. <laughs> yeah, boy. Five free throws, come on. That's how you finish it, come on. One, good. Make it two, come on. Good. Ow. Yes, sir, yes, sir. Now that's it in there, G, come on. Tough. Good work, boy. Good work, baby. Tired? Yeah. A little bit? My arm heavy. Let's see, what is this profile pic? What is this? What is this profile pic? Nothing. <laughs> what does it say? What is what this, Jitty? What's the deal? WTM? <laughs> <laughs> I'm What's sick right now, Grady. What's the move, huh? You should see my drafts. Hey, where did Alabama come from? I haven't talked to them a lot. Have you been there? On no. No, uh, they offered me during COVID. Which schools here that you didn't go to to visit? Alabama, Alabama. Illinois. Florida probably, Florida. right? Florida. That's it? Purdue. And those two. But I was going to go to Oklahoma State, but they so canceled because that was, like right when, that was right when COVID started. So you went to Tech, Baylor, and KU? No, I didn't go to Tech. I went to Baylor. And KU? And KU. Okay, okay. Okay, so what made you pick these top eight? It was just... Talk to me about... Like, I feel like all of them on that list like have some like way like I fit in like on the floor with my play style. Okay. I definitely see Tech being a good fit. Like if you, a lot of them are just like a lot of free like free offensive. And especially right now like with Kansas, 
playing like small ball. Yeah, especially this like year. Like that, right? Yeah, it's literally all yeah. wings, pretty much. So I feel like they kind of realize that's where the trend's going to. Yeah, but pretty much all those got like freedom offensively, but still they play good defense. Like Baylor, yeah, locking yeah. up every possession. Same yeah. with Tech. Baylor yeah. is like really up tempo style. Yeah, Illinois this year is crazy with yeah, threes. Yeah, really good, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. What about Duke? I remember you telling me about. I talked to them just like after the USA mm -hmm. camp, and then nothing. I, don't know. I just focus on other schools. No, I like this list. Yeah. You know I'm gonna push KU so he can be next to me. You and Zach, <laughs> roommates again yeah. at Kansas. No, I got Kendall and Zach in my house. That's right. So if you go to either one of those two, that's cool though. Yeah. Are these yours? Yeah. Goodness. You gotta have those. Grady, what is this, bro? That's a necessity. Are they comfortable? Duh. I heard they like really they're comfortable. Little squishy shoes. <laughs> squishy shoes. All right, when I take these off and put them on, go I'm ahead. Be in heaven. I'm really thankful that I get the opportunity to kind of have this platform with basketball to pretty much get Wichita like out the word out and kind of get people to know like what we got here and that we got family, everything. So it's just good to have that platform. Welcome to, I mean, one of my cribs. We call this the Dick Residence. Let's go take a look inside. I'm about to show you my room. This is my family, my doggy, my mom, my dad, my trainer Peter, you know him, my brother Riley, home from college. Oh, hey. Louis saying <laughs> hi too. Yeah, yeah, Louis here. wanted a speaking role, Louis. okay? <laughs> He's gonna get it. Yo, Louis. All right, let's go see my room. Oh, no, no, no. You thought we was gonna go straight to your room, eh? What? No, I'll take it. What's <laughs> happening on this wall? This it's beautiful our, hallway. Our family wall, everyone got one. Uh huh. Uh, you see my siblings, but yeah. Me and my little. Your baby. My baby. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go to your room. Let's right, go to let's your check room. What's up? So, this is my room. This is the cleanest it's ever been, too. Like, I'll start with this. This is probably the first one. This is a Junior NBA World Championship. That's probably like one of the biggest tournaments I was a part of winning. This is when I was on the Adidas Gauntlet, and I got to be a part of the Junior All American Gauntlet, and so that was a cool tournament. I just put that up there. And this is probably one of the most special ones I have, as in like recruiting terms, because I think it was the summer going into freshman year where I did like a, it was like a Midwest showcase in Missouri. And I think after that, it was like two days and we just played games in front of coaches. It was like a live period. I think I got like eight offers after those two days. So that's kind of when my thing kind of blew up a little. Just go Bam! <laughs> what do you do? My name is Craig Dizzle, off the hizzle, Bro, my yeah. dizzle. <laughs> <laughs> That's too close up. I forgot about this. Oh my gosh, hide this. Wait, what is the significance behind that? People don't just walk around with their heads. <laughs> like, what are you talking about? The bubble head. Yeah. Even the stands. Now this room wouldn't be this room, y'all, if we didn't have. <laughs> oh wow, look at that! It is a Gatorade Player of the Year for Kansas Hope for. Oh yeah, you're rocking it to sleep. <laughs> nah, this is special to me. Just obviously, I got this at my old high school, but there's a ton of good players in Kansas, and for me to get that as a sophomore instead of juniors and seniors, and just some of my friends, it was just it was cool. It was like someone I'll never forget. Obviously, when did you find whatever. out? Tell, tell us about that moment you found out that you won. So it was weird actually, because so they had like a they sent out like a thing to all their like kind of players they were like, were like thinking of giving it to and then I was on the list so like obviously I was just I was just excited to be on the list because it was like I was a sophomore I didn't really expect to do anything big with awards but I got this and then 
COVID messed up like all the packaging and like they accidentally sent like this fanny pack and like what was it? They have, like water bottles and like Gatorades, all yeah. these things. And so I thought they sent that out to like everyone that was on the list. <laughs> He's and like, yeah, I just <laughs> I was got like, a fanny. In I was like, that's cool, I got a fanny pack, that's lit. <laughs> but no, it was actually like, we called them and we're like, I don't think this is supposed to be sent like right now. And they said, oh, like everything got messed up because of COVID. And we actually sent, like you're the Gatorade Player of the Year for yeah. Kansas. And we accidentally sent that because of COVID wrong. So I got to know a little earlier and like, it was a good surprise, obviously. And it was just something I didn't really expect to happen, but. I was glad to see my hard work paying off. <laughs> so um, him and his brother have like this thing. Oh yeah. Yeah, you saw the ping pong table out there. They had this thing. What's it called? Ping pong. Sting pong. Sting pong. That's I don't what know we if do. y'all know what it is. I've never heard of that. Brotherly love. But we about to show y'all what that means. Follow us. All right, I'm with my brother here, Riley. What's up? He's back, <laughs> back from college, and we're about to show you how we play sting pong. You play to five, one by ones, and whoever loses has to pick up their shirt. And you get to sting them. And so we choose <laughs> choose the server with whoever. Yeah. yeah. One oh. Now Where we go I got Ah! Oh. That's how you play. Oh my. That was good. I know. Oh! Yes. Oh my goodness. Three, two. <laughs> so many. Oh! My serve. Uh-oh, game point. He's sweating. Oh. Yeah. Oh, shoot. Uh -oh. Right. He He's felt, turning all red. He put a little Already. lick on it and make it sting more. <laughs> I have no I know, accuracy right? at all. I just hit as hard as I can and hope it hits him. I gotta put a little lick on it and it gets a little more sting. O-M-G. I felt it for I'll you, Ryan. I'll give you one. You, you felt me. it too? You felt it too, Lou? I know. I know, man. He didn't beat me, I but I feel bad now. So I'm gonna give him a turn. Wait, wait, let me move out the way for me. If I get him, I cry. <laughs> oh! It felt so good. I don't feel that. Oh my gosh! Yeah, let's compare the backs, please. Mine's not Oh thin. my gosh. It just like stings for a second. A second. Oh, it's nothing. Oh, That's goodness. weak. That's weak. You are a trooper, Riley. You are a trooper. Yeah, that's one uh, game I'll sit out of. <laughs> I don't want to lose in that game. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> All right, Balls Life. Thanks for kicking it with your boy G Dizzle. Now, I had a fun day, but get out.